Hey everyone, Arthur from PR3 Systems here again. Today we're going to take a look at quality stage. Specifically we'll be looking at the investigate stage, a good starting point if you are new to quality stage. The investigate stage allows you to profile your data and assess what some of the current data quality issues are. Investing the da investigating the data can fall under one of two broad categories, single domain investigation and freeform investigation. Single domain investigation is used for profiling single domain columns such as first name, zip code, or SSN, and freeform investigation is used for profiling freeform fields or columns which have more than one domain in them. For example, if you had a single column with the values 1444 North Farnsworth Avenue, Aurora, Illinois. Single domain investigations will produce reports which allow you to view frequency distributions of values as well as formats of the data. Freeform investigations, on the other hand, also require a standardization rule, such as U.S. name, U.S. adder, U.S. area, which has to be applied to the data. Then, once the data has been standardized, it will produce two reports, a token report and a pattern report. We're going to take a look at freeform investigations in another video. Today, we'll focus just on the single domain investigation. Here we have a basic parallel job, which reads data from a file, sends it to the investigate stage, and which produces a report which is then written out to a target file. We'll be running some single domain investigations in the investigate stage, but before we get started, let's take a look at the source data. Looks like we have some customer data. We're going to produce an investigation report on two columns in this data, the source system column along with the policy number column. Let's close the data browser window and open up the investigate stage. For single domain investigations, the stage can be used to run either a character discrete or character concatenate investigation. We also have a word investigation which can be used with freeform fields. You can choose which type of investigation to run by selecting the associated bot button in the top of the stage. Character discrete is used for investigating a single domain field. Character concatenate will concatenate the values in one or more columns before running the investigation and word investigate will apply a standardization rule to preform data before producing an investigation report. Let's go ahead and choose character discrete investigation. You should see all the available input columns towards the top of the stage. We're going to run investigation on the source system column so we could go ahead and select this column and click the Add to Selected Column button. Whenever you run a character discrete or character concatenate investigation, you have to choose a mask for each character in the column. The mask can either be a C, T, or X. C is used for investigating the actual value of the character. T is used for investigating the format of the character, such as is it a number or an alpha character and X is used for ignoring the character in the investigation, for example, if you're only interested in a subset of the entire column. You can find out more about masks and look at some examples in our blog, which is linked in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and choose a mask of C in order to get a frequency distribution of the actual values in the source system column. And we'll click on OK. You can see that the source system column is now under the Schedule Process section. You could optionally add additional columns if you'd like to investigate them in a single job run as well. Let's go ahead and close out of the stage and map our columns to the output. Now let's save. Compile. And run our job. Now that the job is done, let's take a look at the investigation report in the target stage. The investigate report will produce five columns. The first column represents the column which was investigated that was selected inside the investigate stage. The second column produces patterns it sees based off the selected mask since we used a C mask, you will see all the values which were used for the source system column. The third column is a sample of data. This column is typically useful when using the T mask 
and you want to be able to view a sample data value along with the format of the data. The fourth and fifth column represent the frequency distribution of the different patterns that investigate stage C's. We can see that about 53% of our data came from the A source system, about 13% came from the H source system, and around 34% came from the L source system. Let's close this report now. And we're going to modify our job, and this time we're going to use a T mask with a character discrete investigation. Let's open up the investigate stage. We'll select the source system column and click the delete button. This time we're going to use a different column for investigation. We're going to use the policy number column. So let's choose policy number and click add to selected columns. We're going to use the T math for every character in this column. So let's simply click OK. We can see that the policy number was added with the mask of T and we'll click OK to close out of the investigate stage. Let's save, compile, and run the job. Now let's take a look at the report. You can see when we use the T mask, the investigate stage will look at the format of the data as opposed to the actual value of the data. The A in the pattern column represents an alpha character, and the N in this column represents a number. You can see that for our policy number column, the data came in five different formats. Two of our formats were made up of only numbers, and three of our formats work are a combination of alpha characters and numbers. About 16% of the records are made up of only numbers and then 84 percent represents a format consisting of both alpha characters as well as numbers. We'll take a look at the word investigation in another video. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.